PAD is peripheral artery disease. It has to do with cholesterol buildup involving the arteries or the blood vessels in our legs. And PAD not only influences our ability to, to walk, but it puts us at a risk for amputation. And then also that tie in with heart attack and stroke because of that systemic cholesterol buildup. If you're having symptoms as you're trying to walk, if you have an abnormal pulse exam, if we can't feel your pulse as well as we take your socks and shoes off, then we need to do some other evaluation to see if you have PAD, because that's an important part of helping to save limbs and save lives. Asking screening questions about activity or symptoms, then two, taking off the, the shoes and socks, doing a foot exam, feeling the pulses, and then if you have somebody who either has symptoms that are concerning or an abnormal pulse exam, then that next diagnostic test is something that's very straightforward to do. It's called an ABI, or an ankle brachial index test. And that uses ultrasound to non-invasively identify if somebody has a change in blood flow down the blood vessels, their legs to their feet, which is a sign of PAD. Oftentimes, there is coexisting diabetes and PAD, which is going to make it much harder to, for that wound to heal unless you're restoring good blood flow to that area. And so both that what's called acute limb ischemia, or that leg attack, and that chronic critical limb ischemia, where you've got poor blood flow to your toes every day, both of those are at significant risk for, for amputation. And it's critical that we do better in our country to lower the rates of amputation, this non-traumatic amputation. By that, it's not related to a, um, an orthopedic injury, but this is related to poor blood flow in the feet. In the Southeast United States in particular, there are different rates of amputation amongst individuals who are at a lower socioeconomic status. And then black Americans are also among the highest um, group of individuals affected from this, this really epidemic of amputation related to PAD. So we have a lot of work to do to increase the awareness of, and detection and then timely treatment of PAD patients who may have PAD and either heart disease or a history of stroke, this is what's called polyvascular disease. So it makes sense, blood vessels involved in more than one part of the body. So why do we give it this specific name? Well, it's because patients who have had significant cholesterol buildup in more than one area in the body are at a particularly high risk for future heart attack, stroke, or even um, amputation. And so there are patients who have polyvascular disease who we want to talk about and discuss what are the most appropriate medical treatments to help really reduce that risk. Not only things that we typically think of, like cholesterol medications such as statins or the role of aspirin, but some of the other medications to help reduce the, that future risk.